Hey guys, um, you know, I just, I just wanted to say, I'm, I've been, first of all, I, I know it's hard probably to watch this video because yes, yes, I am in tears, I'm, I'm sorry about that guys, I can't hold it back, but I decided that I am not going to let this what happened that stopped me from what I love to do I love to record for you guys because I know that you guys like what I do why I I have no clue why you like what I do but I know that you do and I'm not gonna let this stop me from doing what I love and recording for you guys so Something I wanted to do in this video as a comeback video, I guess, from five seconds, I guess, is, well, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be recording a video of me explaining my life and what happened, all the tragedy, all the horribleness, how I got back up, just everything that's been going on. I'm going to record a video talking about that. It's not going to be a draw of my life because I don't have anything to draw and I don't have anything to record the drawing board. It's going to be basically that, but without the drawing. So what I want to do in this video is... It's my mother's birthday, so... I'm going to describe to you guys, because a lot of you guys personally know me and never got to meet her. I'm going to describe her to all you guys. All you guys that haven't met her yet. You're going to see me changing tabs on this. You're not going to see the tabs though. And hear me typing a little bit because, well, <laughs> I'm bringing up some stuff. So, my mother was a really caring and loving person. She, um, basically, any time you needed her, she would be there. If you needed her and you contacted her, she would be there instantly. And, well, it's, it's hard to know that on the 10th of October this year, it'll be her gone for two years. It's, it's hard. And, uh, well, you're gonna see some, you're, you're gonna see double video here for a sec. This is her right here. She was just so caring and loving. This is me with her. And, well, here's a picture of me, her, and my brother. She, she was such a loving and caring person that, well, it's hard to know that she's gone. This, especially when, you know, I'm walking through the house, I'm, it's hard to know that instead of five people in this house, it's really now four. And, well... It's also hard on me the fact that so many of my friends never got to meet her. They heard me talk about how amazing she was so much and how I was going to make sure that they met her and how it would be the best day of my life for them to meet her and uh, they never got to. It's, it's hard. It's really hard knowing that Something that I wanted to happen so bad got taken away from me instantly. She had, she was that she was a diabetic. She was type one diabetic, and she had passed away from what's known as dead in bed syndrome. I think it was it's called. It's where they literally die in their sleep, and they, they can't do anything about it. 
Well, I was the one that found her that morning. I just remember, just I knew instantly my my grandmother wanted to call nine one one and get them down to our house as fast as possible, and I knew, I knew instantly. But my, when my brother ran in, s screaming, he, I basically had to be the bigger guy for a while. I forced him out of the room, told him, no, go out, go in there for a while, and I shut the door. Later that day, I was in his room with him talking, and I just burst it down into tears because... closest one to me was now gone. It's it's really hard to talk about. It's it's really hard knowing that Some a uh, great person is just gone, and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> it's hard living with the fact, knowing that the closest person, the the, per the person to ever get close to me that much, is now gone, and <laughs> it's it's hard. It, it's really hard knowing that. She had helped me so much, and I, w I wanted to pay her back for that. I wanted to help her, but that day, there was literally nothing I could do. Nothing that I could have done could have stopped that. <laughs> and it kills me to know that all I wanted to do was help her, and I couldn't. And She's gone now, and there's nothing I can do about it. And it's her birthday today, and I could do nothing. I'm sorry. I probably, I probably have a lot of you guys in tears right now, just with the fact that I am. I'm. I'm really sorry about that. I just wanted to make this video saying that I'm not gonna let this stop me and I'm going to come back and I had to find a way to do it and I guess that was the only way I could because of her it being her birthday and I haven't done anything to honor her at all so far and basically this is my way of saying rest in peace Happy birthday, and I'll see you when it's my time again. <laughs> see you guys in the next video.